y'all. I sounded really Texan. Um, well, I am Texan. Okay, um, hey guys. <clears throat> Today, I've been eating a lot of candy and I'm really, really hyper. So, I'm sorry this is like the longest video ever. And, um, it's just a neutral look. I promise you, it doesn't take long if you're doing it on your own. But I'm talking and I talk too much and I ramble on and off. And, um, yeah. Talking and makeup is not, not a good idea for me because then I take like half an hour. Um, I also have an outfit of the day for this outfit that I'm wearing and a hair tutorial that I'm going to be posting prior to this. So go check that out and then after this um, makeup tutorial you'll see my outfit of the day. And I, re I just wanted to say I really, really missed you all. Um, I'm sorry I've been out. My computer had its period for about a week. So it was sick and cramping and in a very bad mood because it had viruses. So I got it fixed and it's back now and I'm really, really happy. Because I get to talk to you guys again. And um, I'm looking for a new um, camera so I could film HD videos. And uh, what else? What else do I want to tell you? I think that's about it. I talk too much throughout both of my videos. So if you like me talking, go check them out. If you don't like me talking, maybe you shouldn't. Uh, but anyways, uh, keep watching. First thing you want to do is go into your primer potion. It comes with a naked palette. What's this? It comes with the Naked Palette. Well, this is my long one, or my big one. I have a full-size one, so I don't want to I don't wanna use my little one. I'm just going to put that. I think that's a little bit too much. I'm just going to blend this in all over, all over, on this little tear duct part all over here. Bring whatever's, bring whatever's left down here. Sorry if you hear cheering and clapping. I'm watching Mori. It's like my favorite show ever. First shadow I'm using is Brulee by Wet n Wild. It's just my skin tone color. I'm pretty sure everyone has one. I know this is a naked palette tutorial, but I um since the the naked palette it has virgin and everything, and I love the shimmer on it. But I'd prefer a nice matte um skin tone color. I am going to be placing virgin over it. This is just going to be a base color for all of the colors I'm going to be using. And it just, it's because the Urban Decay, the primer potion, it doesn't have any color to it. So you can still see my veins. So basically that's what I'm going to be covering with this. Just all that little discoloration. Like that. It's just going to be all, all over wash. See? It's like I'm not wearing nothing. Huh? I'm naked. Um, the next thing you want to do is go into your palette and take Virgin, which is the lightest shade. The lightest shade. It's got a really nice shimmer to it. I'm going to put that all over the lid. And on the other eye. Just so I could give that little slight sheen that... Sheen? Did I say sheen? Sheen! that it has. Sorry, I'm a little Mexican. I've been eating Mexican candies like all day and it's only like, it's like one o'clock and I'm eating candies and I haven't had breakfast and that's not good. Like that. What you want to do is go into the Nike color right here with a 217 brush and just put that into the crease. This is a really nice blending shade and it just warms up your crease a lot. Um, if you want something super super subtle for every day I'd just go like this and just put on a little bit of mascara. You know, but sometimes you have those days where you're like, ugh, oh, don't feel like trying. Just put this in your crease and you're good to go. E40. Blend, blend, blend. Sometimes I find it easier to bend, blend colors um, one after another. That way they don't get all muddy. 
I'm really hyper today. It's all a candy. And I'm all over the place and I feel like talking a lot because I haven't talked to you like in two weeks. So, oh, I'm like having a joy. Yes, day. La la la. Ooh, girl, you're having an affair with someone. The next thing you want to do is go into Buck, because I don't give a buck. <laughs> Sorry. Go into Buck. Like this. In, in the crease. Two colors in the crease makes you have a more dimensional eye. Now when it looks like it all flows together like this, you can stop here or you can add another shadow. I think I'm going to stop here. No, I'm going to add another shadow. That's what I do. Go in with your E13, a pencil brush of some sort, and go into Dark Horse, which is like that dark brown. You want to be careful with this because if you add too much, it's going to make it look really dark. Hence the name, Dark Horse. Just kind of do a line right there. No, it looks weird. A line right there. And sweep it down here. Not all the way in. Like that. Almost like a wing. A really crooked wing. Um, blend it. So you have that darker outer corner. This look involves a lot of blending. If you do it just right, it's going to look good. I mean, it looks like I'm doing a lot more work than I'm actually doing. But it's because, also, I'm taking a lot longer than I should because I'm just so happy to talk to you guys again. You don't even know. So I have that. I'm going to be taking my new favorite eyeliner. It makes my um, it makes my eyelashes stand out and my eyes. Oh, whoa, what did my eyes do there? They went all whoa, crazy. Um, need a sharpener. I'll be back. I'm just gonna line. My upper lash line. Oh god, why am I trying to do this? On camera. Girl, five kids? Seriously? And you don't even know who their baby daddy is. Who loves watching Maury? I do. There you go. I'll do the other one off camera because it takes longer. I'm just gonna line my lower lash line, not my waterline, just like under it. And just on the outside. Over where we put the dark horse. And take it a little bit further in than where you took Dark Horse. What?
Did you hear that? 16 men she's tested. What a ho-ho. Like that. <gasps> On the stummy tapa. Next thing you want to do is take Rimmel's Max Flash Volume Mascara or anything else that you have that you really like. This mascara is growing on me because it makes my eyelashes look like I have millions of them. So, my eyes are done. I just put on mascara. I don't have any eyeliner on in the waterline. That's optional. You can do it. I'm not going to do it. It's just going to make my eyes look a little bit darker. This is a darkish enough look for the day for me. Um, of course, up close, they look super, super dark. Um, be taking the Fit Me in light pink, and it's pretty good. Um, blush. It matches my skin really well, so, yeah. And I'm just going to be taking this Sigma F40. Pack it on my brush. Put it right here. On my apples and up here. Oh. I'm going to be taking Nars's Albatross just to give me a slight shimmer. I'm going to be taking my E50, which I use with my. Um, Wonder Woman MSF, my Golden Lariat. That's why it's kind of pinkish. But it works really well for, um, for highlighting. I'm just going to put it where I put my blush and a little bit higher. Right there. And I want an all over glow. I'm going to put some. I think I'm going to put a little bit of like powder on my nose because it's looking a little bit oily. I'll show you guys that right now. Mm -hmm. Shimmer. I'm going to be taking my Dream Matte Mousse in Cream, which is light 30. I don't know. It doesn't say so on the bottom because it's like a. Ugh. It was like the last one left and I had to have it because. It's like the best powder ever. I'm just gonna take that on my nose. Look there. Ugh. Around my nose too. There. So my nose doesn't look shiny anymore. Um. I should put on like a lipstick or something. Hold on. Go get it out of my purse. This is my go-to lipstick for every day. Um, even if I just want, I'm not wearing makeup or anything. Um, I go for Sugar Plum Ice. I always want to call it Sugar Plum Fair Fairy. It's like uh, it's A12 and it's these Maybelline like super moisturizing lipsticks. Look at how far I'm going. Okay. It says plum, but I don't see it as plum. It looks just like my natural lip color, just just really sparkly. It has like little bits of um, kind of a golden kind of sheen to it. Um, and it's really, really moisturizing, so when I have chapped lips, I kind of put this on. Um, like during the day and I just kind of smooth it out with my lips so that I have a little bit of color and my lips won't be chapped. So that's that. Am I forgetting something? I'm eating chamoy. I don't know. If you guys would see my... Did you guys see my tongue like while I was talking? I'm, I was eating chamoy like throughout the whole time. I would like stop filming and then it was like the best thing ever. If you guys have a Mexican like food store nearby you, you need to get these trocis. It's like 
the Chamoyada stuff. Best thing ever. I'm going to show you guys a quick outfit of the day. Okay. Ready? So let's get started. First um, off, I'm wearing regular jeans. They're like, um, just like straight leg jeans. I'm wearing gladiator sandals that I bought at Baker's. These jeans are from Papaya? I think they're from Papaya. Because their jeans are like some of the only ones that fit me. Um, this is like just a regular tank top. It's one of those ribbed tank tops from um, Agassiz. This cardigan it was five dollars outside of Melrose on those little racks. So I was just walking by there and I was like, this is actually pretty cute. I never shop here. Like, wow. And it's one of those loose ones. It goes all the way down to your bottom of your butt. So that's cool. I mean, if you're wearing like leggings or something, you can wear it with like a belt. And you can like, wear it like, a, I don't know, like some kind of like thing with legging support too. So I thought that would be really, really cute. Jewelry. This is the necklace my boyfriend bought me for Valentine's Day. Um, this necklace I made with stuff from Michaels. It has a little perfume bottle. It has two mirrors. This one and this one. They're different sizes. Yeah. And then it has a little brush up here. This little comb. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a little comb. And then I have the little treasure chest jewelry box thing and a little hanger. And then this little cameo girl kind of thing. So yeah, that's it. And the ring I usually wear that always twists because it never fits me anymore. And just white gold stud earrings. Um, that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed my first outfit of the day and my face of the day. And I missed you guys so much, and I love talking to you guys. I missed you all, and um, I'm so happy to be back. I'm so glad I got my computer back. All I need now is a new camera so I can film, like, amazing quality videos for you all. And I'll talk to you guys really, really soon and update you guys on that. So, um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.